is KCAU 9 News. Siouxland proud. Good evening and thanks for joining us for this digital exclusive. I'm Rebecca Pryor. Tis the season for giving and today all across Siouxland organizations were doing their part to get in the holiday spirit. How they're making a difference in our community is our top story. For 78 years in a row, Goodwill of the Great Plains has thrown its annual shoe and mitten party where they give out winter essentials to families around Siouxland, meeting the needs of 1,000 local kids. Making the day extra special, the facility also decked out in holiday decorations with the big red man himself, Santa, paying a visit to the children. The thing about it is the volunteers that have come out here, many have been coming for 20, 30 years, and they may have received shoes when they were kids. So it's a great opportunity for them to pay it forward, for um, them to come out and help those in need. So and it's not just here in Siouxland. Goodwill of the Great Plains served over 3,000 kids in total over their four state territory. Also giving back to the kids today, the South Sioux City Police Department put their squad car to good use. Partnering with Emerson, Homer, and Dakota City Fire, the South Sioux City PD hopes to make the holidays a little bit brighter for local kids by holding their first ever fill a squad car toy drive. In front of South Sioux High V. police and fire collected donations and stuffed them into the police vehicle that will soon be delivered to Dakota County youngsters. It's just that uh, uh, we do a lot of fire prevention stuff with children and police do it too. We just want them not to be afraid of us in uniform. You know, they can come to us and we help whenever we can, wherever we can. And if you miss them at High V, you can still drop off donations to the South Sioux City Law Enforcement Center until December 18th. And because Santa doesn't want any kid left behind, the giving didn't stop there for our little ones today. At Sioux City's Launchpad Museum, more than 70 children from Mary Elizabeth Preschool received gifts from Santa at the Men of Color Toy Drive. Men of Color is a Briarcliff student organization that works to give back to the community. Over the past month, they collected toys to be donated to low-income families. One volunteer says it teaches students the act of service. One of our pillars for learning and teaching um, is connecting with service. Um, so we think it's really important. A lot of our kids are distance kids, so they come from Dallas, they come from Texas, they come from all over the place. So really we're just trying to get them infused and get their mind on giving back to their communities. This is the fifth year for the toy drive. Afterwards, families enjoyed a free play day at the Launchpad Museum. People wouldn't usually associate the tuba with holiday music, but today Siouxlanders were embracing the spirit of Christmas through low brass. At the Betty Strong Encounter Center, a dozen tuba players performed a merry tuba Christmas for the 46th anniversary of Tuba Christmas this afternoon. The band played traditional Christmas carols arranged by composer Alec Wilder. The director says it's a way to bring the love of tubas and Christmas together. So to get a lot of us together doesn't happen all that often. And so it's a way for us to just sort of get together and geek out over tuba stuff for a day, which is super fun. Uh, and then, of course, we just get to share Christmas music with the public, which is a great joy for us, too. The first Sioux City Tuba Christmas was performed in 1996. Today's performance was one of the more than 100 concerts played worldwide. Now joined by Caitlin Lohr. Have you ever heard of Tuba Christmas? No, but it makes me laugh kind of on the good side because if you ever heard of the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, their concerts that they put on across the United States, is n it's supposed to be a Christmas concert, but it's like a laser light show. It's incredible. Really? Yeah, and they have orchestras like tuba players there, and it's just crazy to see how they can well, turn fun. those instruments and music into a Christmas concert. Very, very cool. And was it a good day to stay inside today, or is it a little chilly out there? No, I mean, it, either or. Because of that breeze we have, it is making feel a little chillier out there, but... All in all, it's been a really nice day with above average temperatures out there. We almost hit 50 degrees today. Here's a current view of outside the KCAU 9 studio where there's still a little bit of a glow left from tonight's sunset. This view brought to you by the Port Neal Welding Company. Temperatures, as I mentioned, in the 40s, still at 46 in Sioux City, 43 in Lamar's, upper 30s in Spencer and Cherokee at 39 there, and a little bit cooler in Esterville at 36 up there. As I mentioned, we do have pretty strong winds coming out of the south at about 17 miles an hour in Sioux City. 18 now in Lamar's and stronger than that out near Yankton at 20 miles an hour right now. Here's a look at the storm cast going into the next couple of days here. Overnight tonight we're going to see an increase in cloud coverage and making way for mostly cloudy skies throughout tomorrow. And then late tomorrow night into Monday right around 4 a.m. 
we're going to start to see some snow enter the area, but don't worry, it's going to be fairly light and it's going to be clearing out by about 11 o'clock Monday morning. So about a dusting or so is what we're going to see. And then uh, the rest of Monday is going to be mostly sunny and just pretty pleasant out there, but a little chilly out there. Here's a look at snowfall totals for Monday night or Monday morning snow. Only a dusting here in Sioux City, but we could see anywhere just over an inch to just over two inches up to our northeast near Spencer, Esterville, and Orange City. So keep this in mind. Still fairly light out there, but we could see some snow when we wake up Monday morning. Tonight we're going to fall to a low of 27 by tomorrow morning with wind staying pretty breezy. And here's a look at our 9 on 9 forecast going into the week ahead. 44 tomorrow, 20 for the high on Monday with some windy conditions there. So make sure you have that jacket ready because we're probably going to need it. Then we're going to uh, dip down to the teens by Tuesday and then back up into the 30s by Thursday. 40 on Friday and the next weekend we could see some more snow return to the area as we fall to a high of 14 by Sunday afternoon.